Now you might be wondering if I'm going to do the secret little hidden easter egg at this point in the game. And I am not. I'm going to come back and do that later. So in two or three videos you're going to see a little backtracking and a pretty kind of cool easter egg that you might not have encountered the first time you got through the game. It's much easier to do that when you've already killed all these guys and the path is completely clear for you. And because there's a statue right there, you can slow time and kill these guys very easily. Like usual. As many times as I've played this game, I never get tired of grabbing those guys and breaking their necks like that. It's just so satisfying. And I don't know why I did it this way, but I actually skipped a treasure chest, but I go back and get it in a second, so it's not a big deal. And when you get to these new platforms, there's always those treasure chests, treasure chests, statues to slow time. So use those to your full advantage. And rip off his arm and beat him to death with it. That's always fun too. So you jump off the edge and find this hidden little treasure chest. But because you go for the treasure chest and not for the next um, for the next area, you have to backtrack a little bit and slow time down and run from platform to platform again. So just stand on the little button, wait for the branches to completely grow out, slow time, and book it. <laughs> 